James. Hi, so Michelle. I'm really interested to find out what was it that made you mm -hmm. go from, you know, uh, working in the game industry to pursuing your passion, travel writing. What is it that makes you uh, sort of take that extra step? Oh, that's a very hard decision because I have to give up uh, my annual income, it's millions of dollars annual income. Oh, wow. And as a travel writer, I start from zero, you know, because I have no salary at all. Mm -hmm. So I think that in terms of the monetary, it's a very, very huge change for me. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, I think after you get um, a very stable life and uh, I have uh, started the second half of my lifetime after I get 40 and I want to to follow my own dream follow mm -hmm. my own, own heart rather than follow the monetary terms mm -hmm. because I can survive easily now with uh, the, the money I saved so I decided to quit a job before it's too late right. because if you travel you need to be young and energetic you know when you get older there's so many places you can't go. When uh -huh. The attitude is, attitude is too high, you can't go. It's too <laughs> deep in the water, you can't go. You know, yeah. you have so many physical constraints. Too. But uh, so I decided um, when I get, uh, I think, 40 years old, uh -huh. I want to change my life. Right. And uh, when the door is closed, another window opens, mm -hmm. I have to quit the job. Otherwise, you know, I get to nowhere. Right, right. Yeah. With, so besides, you know, um, money and, and, you know, age yep. are there certain things about you know Hong Kong right now um, mm -hmm. the state of like uh, business and the the kind of uh, understanding that people have towards passion and career today like in this age that changed from before that made you um, kind of pursue this now rather than when you were younger I think when I was younger and the all the expectations from the society, from the family, from friends, mm -hmm. it's all about you have to be behave like a professional and you have to behave yourself. You should not just follow your dream. You should, mm -hmm. you know, the social norm was so strong. You know, after, if you graduate from Hong Kong University, you should be a lawyer, a solicitor, a doctor, uh -huh. and have very decent, stable life, and all the patterns were set. But now I think the younger people, they prefer to have their own lifestyle rather than mm -hmm. follow the norm of the society. And uh, I think, um, because I just uh, did a seminar with uh, several speakers and uh -huh. uh, some of the audience asked, did you feel regretful because you, you quit the job so late because oh. <laughs> I quit the job at 40, you know? Because uh -huh. I, I, think I think again, I said, no, I don't think so because I can't do, I mean, for just follow my dream and do travel writing when I was 20 because uh, I had nothing there, you know? Mm -hmm. I need at least have a basic physical, I mean, uh, condition to allow me to, 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 to survive. So I think uh, mm -hmm. if I choose again, I still will work first. And then after I accumulate my wealth and uh, accumulate my experience, then I can quit and uh, follow my own right. dream. Yeah. So you visited so many countries. I'm interested. What are some of some more countries that you, you that are on your to-do list? That oh, you of course, visit? definitely are uh, not. But the, most of these countries are dangerous countries because oh. I have visited more than 110 countries, oh, wow. and these countries are. You know, I have done all, almost all Asia mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Africa and uh, North America, North America, Australia. But I still haven't done the, some like uh, Yemen, uh -huh. like uh, um, Iraq. Uh -huh. This kind of uh, uh, terrorist countries. Okay. Okay, but these countries are, I'm very interested to, to, to go, so it's still on my wish list. I wish when, when there is uh, no war one day, yes. I want to visit uh, Iraq definitely. Oh, I hope yeah. so too. I'll, yeah. I'll look forward to reading your book about thank Iraq you, thank when you, it comes Audrey. out. Thanks so much thank for you talking so much. with me. Nice Thanks. to talk to you. Great.